Okay, so you've just uh, expanded your main method uh, to add a couple more statements. So the first thing you did was to define a new motor object. So within the VEX library, we found the motor object, and we've called our motor object left motor. Okay, it's of type motor, and we've also defined which port it is. Now this Boolean expression here uh, defines whether it is going forwards or it's going backwards in terms of the direction that it spins. So it's a true or false uh, for this. So we define this as a global instance because it only needs to be set once at the beginning of our program, but we still need to refer to it throughout other methods. So later on we're going to develop this and have, have more methods, but at the moment we're just referring to it within the main method. So once we have that, we can develop our main method a little bit more. So we can use now this keyword uh, for the object left motor and within that we can access all of the methods for that object. So the first one we're going to access is set velocity. We're going to set our velocity to 50 and we can define what those units are. So there are other options for how we define our units for velocity but at the moment we're going to do ro rotations per minute. So at the moment it's 50 rotations per minute which is fairly slow. Okay we then tell our motors to spin and because all of our uh, statements will be uh, run in order, so this will run, then this one will run, then this one will run. What we need to do is to add in a little bit of um, time for our our motors to actually run, because if we made our motors stop straight after we turned them to turn forward, they would instantly just turn on and off. Okay, so we need to have a little bit of time, and we've got uh, 3,000 milliseconds here, just to allow them to run for a little bit and then stop, and then our program will end. Okay, so this is our base level code for getting our motors to run.